Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Kevin Winona. Just call me Kevin. And today, I am going to share the video tutorial version of Eleven from Stranger Things. Last time, someone suggested me to make the video tutorial version of the drawing time lapse of Eleven. I like this suggestion. Well, let's begin. So, basically, I used a photo reference for this drawing. The photo reference version is on the left side. Well, beside it, it is a drawing. Let's we observe the photo reference. Let's take a look. This photo's expression is surprise. Eleven is seems very surprised, so her eyes are wide open in amazement and she opened her mouth in surprise. And based on our observance, her hair is blowing because of wind. The wind come from 11's front, so her hair is blowing to her back. After that, let's we see the light. It seems that there are two lights from the left and from the right. The light from the right part is much bigger, so it results the shadow. Now, I am going to draw. Firstly, I am going to draw the basic sketch trap. Before I use a pen, I use a pencil. Now, I start the drawing by making a face proportion sketch with pencil as beginner step. Firstly, I make an oval for the face as per expression. Then, I position it the eyes, nose, and mouth will be. I make thin sketch to each of those. The next step is to make the detail of the eyes, mouth, nose up to the position of the hair. Because her expression is surprised, her mouth is just let open and her eyes look wide. Now, after finish scaling of the face, we are going to draw more with a pen. So, I erase the face proportion sketch lightly and continue with pen. I am now continuing with a pen. We carefully follow previous pencil job and make it more clear and more real. For the video time lapse, you can watch it here. Let's we firstly draw the eyes. Make a shading for the eyes iris, then make the eyelids and the eyelash. of the shadow slightly darker in the eyelid part. 
for the iron block part, just make some lines. It tapers as it extends outwards. Repeat it in the second eye. Let's we outline the counters of the nose. Darken the nose trail, a shadow behind the nose, to make a filter, a connection between nose and mouth. Outline the lip first. The top lip is a little bit darker because it protrudes, while the bottom tip is lighter and features the highlight. The teeth have a shadow, so give it a darkened color. For the inside of the mouth, give the black shadow. Now, I develop the value on the face. We give the area with the shadow a darker shading, while the highlight part a lighter shading. Just from our previous observation, the light comes from the left and the right, so we give a lighter shading. The hair are darker around the side of the face and in the location where the hair part changed direction. Based on our previous observation, the left part is darker because of the amount of light exposure. But at the edge of the hair, we give the lighter shade because of the light exposure. For the neck, we give this part more darker shade than the face because of the position of the neck. The neck is below the head and partially covered by the hairs and give the clothes a darker shade because it is located under the face, the neck, and hairs. Well done, all the drawing of female with the expression. Hope all you guys can get the steps on how to do this drawing. If there are any input, I welcome it. Like, share, and subscribe if you like this. Thank you!